Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back today with another video. Now today we're going to be going over a Baruch build that you guys can use in Steel Path. Thought this was fitting because Baruch Prime has just been recently brought out as you can see. And this guy is literally the Red Crypt King. But anyway, if you go on to enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, comment, all that good stuff. It helps a lot and it is highly appreciated. But let's get into the video. Okay, so as always, I just want to go through the operator focus score and an arcane that you guys could use that would be really helpful. So, first of all, the build we're going to be using today is a combo based build. However, we're not going to be using Naraman. We are going to be using Unairu. Now, reason we're going to be using this is two things. Magnetic Flare and Caustic Strike. For Grenier enemies, you're going to be able to use Caustic Strike on the Eximus, which have high armor. You can strip it completely and then one-shot them. Magnetic Flare is going to be used for the Corpus Eximus that have a hell of a lot of shield, but very little health. You strip their shield and then you can one-shot them. But we're also going to be able to combine both of them when fighting Acolytes. Because we can strip their shields, then strip their armor, and then be able to kill them quickly so that, for example, if we get violence, he will not be able to take us out of Serene Storm, make us very vulnerable and get rid of all of our abilities. Now, in terms of the Operator Arcane, I would suggest it is Magus Elevate. Now, reason being is, for example, if you're in Infested, where you get hit with the Toxin status effect. Toxin completely bypasses your shield and starts eating away at your health. So, if your health goes down and you can't find any health orbs, you simply spam in and out of transference and 9 times out of 10, you will get 300 health back to your frame. Okay, so, with this build, we're going to be focusing on Serene Storm and Desolate Hands. We will be using lol, but this is more as a measure to deplete our energy and also reduce our restraint meter so that we can keep using Serene Storm. So, first of all, we have Corrosive Projection. It's just nice to have when we're against Grenier just to reduce their armor. Then we have got Blind Rage, Augur Secrets and Power Drift. These are all going to contribute to our ability strength increase the damage we do on Serene Storm, increase the number of charges we have on Desolate Hands, but also maximize the amount of damage reduction we can get on these two abilities. So Desolate Hands being 90% and Serene Storm being 40%. What's nice also about August Secrets is that, as you can see, 40% of the energy we spend is going to be converted to our shields. So if we get low, cast some abilities and we get that shield back. Then we have adaptation. Now the reason we have this on is because as long as we're in Serene Storm and have Desolate Hands active we get the damage reduction from both of them. But when you have adaptation added on on top of these two you get almost a hundred percent damage reduction as you can see on screen. And that's what our survivability is going to be. Then we have Gladiator Aegis and Gladiator Resolve. Now, these are just nice to have because they give armor and health. However, we're more interested in the Gladiator mod set as a whole, allowing us to increase critical chance per combo multiplier. And we have two on here, which gives us 20%, but we do have another three elsewhere, which I will get onto in a second. Then we have Streamline for a bit of efficiency, seeing as we do not have Prime Flow on this build. Although our abilities are going to cost a lot, we're going to be killing a lot of enemies, which means we're going to be getting a lot of energy orbs. Okay, And combining that with Arcane Energize, we'll get a lot of energy back so that we can keep casting these abilities and keeping our Restraint Meter low. Okay, And then... Finally, we have the Reactive Storm Augment. Now, 
This gives us 250% status chance, which is going to be really nice on our Desert Wind. But also, the damage type is going to be changed to the enemies that we're fighting, which again is so much nicer to have. So we're not proccing the same elements on a certain faction. It is designed and tailored to apply the elements that they need in order to match their weakness. Now, if you wanted to, you could form this another time, once more, to allow you to put Prime Sure Footed on if you have it. If you don't, you could put Normal One on. That is fine as well. And then finally for the secondary arcane, we have arcane fury. Now, on critical hit, you have a 60% chance to have 150% melee damage. Now, this also transfers to your desert wind, which is why we have this, okay? More damage means we're going to kill the enemies a lot easier. And that is the build for Baruch. Let's get on to the weapon build. Okay, so in terms of secondary weapon, we can use whatever we want. If you have a epitaph or if you have any other secondary weapon, you can use whatever you want, whether you have a build on it or not. What we're using this secondary weapon for is the arcane, secondary dexterity. Now this is going to be just for the combo duration because we will only have five seconds on our Baruch Desert Wind so we can use this to increase our combo duration so that we can maintain the 12 times and be able to continuously hit red crits. As because we don't have Naramon, it won't go down exponentially. It will literally just drop to zero. Okay, so this is what the secondary dexterity is for combo duration. Okay, so let's get into the melee weapon. Okay, so this is all you need for your melee. You literally need any single melee in the game and put these three gladiator mods on because these are going to contribute to our critical chance per combo multiplier on our desert wind now if you wanted maybe you forget to cast some of your abilities and you end up refilling your restraint meter so you cannot use serene storm in which case i have this build that i use which has all three gladiator mods on it but also a build which helps me out if my frame is completely useless and it can destroy steel path enemies okay so with that out the way let's get into the final part of this build which is his desert wind so now we move on to our desert wind now this is where our damage is going to come from so first of all we have prime pressure point fever strike and voltaic strike now all of these are just going to provide us with damage. Raw damage from our prime pressure point, but also elemental damage from our toxin and voltaic strike. Now this is purely to boost the damage, right? We already have reactive storm, which is going to apply the correct elements to the enemies that we're facing. But this is just for damage, okay? Then we have sacrificial steel and this is just to build on top of our gladiator mods and the critical chance we get per combo just to get those constant red crits and also to get high damaging red crits and linking to those high damage red crits we've got our gladiator might and organ shatter now these are going to contribute to our critical damage okay and they're going to make it so our red crits are actually hitting for a lot of damage then we have Quickening, which is going to give us that attack speed. And since we're not using Arcane Strike, which would normally give us attack speed, it's why we're using Quickening. Plus, it gives us a 20% chance to get a to add on to our melee combo count. And finally, we have Prime Smite Grenier. Now, you don't really need this against Corpus or Infested, but of course, because Grenier are highly armoured, it's just going to make it so that we do more damage to them and make it easier to kill them. Now, for Eximus, this probably won't be enough unless you do a slam attack, which is why we have Uniru on hand to armor strip them and then kill them that way. But that is the build for that. 
let's get into some gameplay. Okay, so we're in the mission. Now, when using Baruch, your first priority should always be to make sure your restraint meter is not full. Because if it's full, you're not going to be able to use Serene Storm, which is our damage tool here, okay? So, simply cast your Desolate Hands, and then once we get to these, we have a bunch of enemies here that we can use our lull on and reduce our restraint meter by a lot, okay? Now, as you can see, we're already destroying them, okay? So, our first sort of point of call here is to get some sort of combo going, okay? And you want to get to that 12 times combo. Now, that can be through slam attacks, through direct hits, through slides even. But do whatever you need to, to be able to get to that 12 times crit. And making sure that your desolate hands are always active, so that you have that almost 100% damage reduction. Okay? And if there is quite a lot of enemies, for example here, recast, and then you can also use your lull to reduce that restraint meter. And look at the damage we're doing. Look already, okay? So I'll be back when I have a 12 times combo. Okay, so we are back with the 12 times combo. And just watch how much this destroys them. Ready? Bang. Dead. And again, bang. It just melts through these enemies. Honestly, it is nuts. And you literally don't have to worry anymore. You just keep going through the mission, killing enemies like it's literally the normal star chart. It's honestly crazy. This guy truly is the red crit king. And if you have these sort of enemies, you can armor strip them if you want, and then bang, they're dead. And as you saw there, I was getting low because I forgot to cast my Desolate Hands again. So that's where the Operator Arcane comes in, where you can get that, get back your health, okay? Let's put it to sleep. And then with this Acolyte, you can also try and put him to sleep. Use your one, use your two, and then just honestly look at that. I didn't even have to deplete his shields and it literally destroyed him. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys can use this build and enjoy it as much as I did because it is truly so good. The satisfaction you get at just destroying enemies that quickly on Steel Path is ridiculous. But as always, if you did go and introduce on to enjoy this video drop a like sub to the channel comment all that good stuff and i will see you in the next video peace